Hi, Plotter Pals. I'm Cameron Sutter, one of the creators of Plotter. This is my pal, the Plotter Otter. Say hi, Plotter Otter. It doesn't say much, but we're excited to talk about this month's update to Plotter, Act Structure 1.0. It's been our most requested feature for a long time, and I'm excited to show you how it works. It introduces three new views to visualize the timeline, the default, the stacked, and tabbed. With this release, you can now restructure the entire plot in just a few clicks. You can also save and apply timeline templates with Act Structure enabled, which wasn't possible when it was in beta and it's available for desktop and web. So let's dive in. Here you can see our favorite Three Little Pigs demo, and I've added the act structure to it. And first I wanna show you the three views that are gonna make you love act structure. This one is the default view, and it's great to see the whole story in careful detail. In this view, you can collapse parts of your story to see them in a very succinct way. And you can still drag and drop pieces of your story around like you could before. Next is the stacked view. And it's great to see the hierarchy of the story and see the chapters within each act and the scenes in each chapter. And this is the tabbed view. It acts as a focus mode for you to be able to see just individual parts of your story. And you can configure your act structure with the structure button. You can see your structure and its level here, and you can customize them. Not only can you create these levels, but you can easily move everything around with the restructure timeline option. You can drag and move pieces of your story around in a much easier way, and you can change scenes to chapters or to acts or the other way around. And when you do, Plotter restructures your timeline to make it work. But wait, there's more. You can create a unique structure for each book in your project and the series view. To do that, I would, again, click the Structure button, and then I can add levels as I want. Now, these levels I can customize if I wanted to call them pancakes, scones, and waffles, I could do that. I could also change their color and the text and the borders and have lots of fun customizing them. And here I can change the view as well. Then I can just start adding more pancakes and more scones. And let's not forget a couple more waffles. Another feature I want to show you is applying templates. I'm going to choose a template here. We'll just choose the first one, the 12-step mystery formula. And now because this template doesn't match my act structure, it's going to give me the choice of where I want to put the pieces of my template into my timeline. In this case, let's try applying this to the scene level. You can see the template beats show up as scenes. If I had chosen the chapters, it would show up under the chapter headings. You can also save custom templates with your act structure enabled. and then use them in other projects. And one more quick thing, as part of this release to make it easier to navigate your structures, we've redesigned the scrolling panel. They work just like they did before, but the buttons have been redesigned. All of this is included for free for all Plotter customers with an active license or a pro account. We're really excited to see how you use Act Structure 1.0 to visualize your stories in new ways. Tell us what you think in the comments below and happy plotting.